Here are the items for today's video. I used a 14 ounce coffee mug from Hog, which I spray painted with Rust-Oleum 2X in Seaside. And there's the decal that we will eventually add. Um, wait till you see how that decal looks in a little while. It's not pretty. So here I am getting um, my epoxy ready. Um, eventually this will come to focus. There we go. Aviary Chunky from Glitter Craze. This is one of the glitters that I was uh, gifted with when I won the last stripped competition. Um, and I decided I really wanted to use it because I thought it was gorgeous. So uh, I figured I'd test it out all with a coffee mug and I had this decal that I had also wanted to use so seemed perfect. So now I am just measuring my putting uh, my marks on my measuring cup the 10 and the 20 so I'm using 10 milliliters of part A and 10 milliliters part B both obviously quick set from the glitter craze as well. Um, I will mix that really quick <laughs> or so it will appear and um, then I'm going to actually mix the chunky glitter into the epoxy so that I don't have to uh, spread it on later. I prefer doing it this way. It seems to lay flatter um, and you use less coats of epoxy this way. So here I am putting the glitter into the epoxy. I'll mix that up and once I get that mixed up we will add it to the cup. Okay, time to add it to the cup. Uh, it's, bear with me during this process. It is not going to be a pretty process, but uh, in the end, trust me, it comes out really well. <laughs> Uh, so I am just spreading my my epoxy with the chunky glitter mixed in all over my mug. Uh, make sure if you are doing a cup that has handles that you pay special attention to the handle. Uh, epoxy can tend to build up around uh, the, the pieces of the handle that attach to the mug itself. Uh, I, I'm not sure why or how, but it, it does. It just tends to glob up around there. So you'll want to be real careful when you're adding epoxy. Uh, you can see just how flat, too, this chunky glitter ends up by doing it this way. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I prefer to do it this way. Um, it's also less messy. Uh, I'm not spreading glitter all over my desk. Um, but I am soon going to realize I don't really feel like I'm getting the coverage that I had hoped for so I'm going to grab uh, after I burst these bubbles with my heat torch I'm going to grab the aviary fine mix that I was also gifted with when I won the stripped competition um, just to help fill in the blank spots and that's where it's really going to get ugly but um, as you'll see, again, in the end, it, it will come out looking really, really good. So uh, trust the process, people. I know you hear that a lot, and it's really hard, but right about now, even I was thinking, oh my God, what did I do? I just ruined this cup. But I, I kept going. I spread it around. Um, this is not a conventional way of, of epoxying a cup. I know I've never done it this way myself, um, adding the, the fine after having already added the chunky. But, well, you know, I did it and it, it worked out. So, again, so I'll just spread it around. I'll use my heat torch again to get out any bubbles. And it actually evens out quite well, I think, after after uh, applying some heat with the heat torch it helped to move the epoxy around a bit and it, it you'll see it, it evens out really really well and this this cup 
just turned out absolutely beautiful and I hated covering it like I'm about to do but uh with the a crackle effect but that was my plan and I wanted to stick to it so as you can see um, I'm applying the the heat with or you know just just very lightly using my heat torch to pop the bubbles but you can you can already see that it's evening out and looking really really good so I was I was kind of relieved to be honest when when I saw that happening Okay, and now it's time to add that crackle effect. So I've got all my items here I'm using the Elmer's School Glue, the white Elmer's School Glue. I have my white uh, acrylic paint put aside, and now I am just going to glob this glue on as quickly and as evenly as I can. Um, Yeah, I, I kind of wanted it on there thick. Um, I decided I was not going to do the handle. I wanted to let the handle uh, just remain as it is, and I'm I'm I think I'm happier that I did that I did that. But I figured, you know, in the end, if I changed my mind after doing the mug itself, not too hard to just redo this part on the handle. So. It, I felt pretty safe doing it this way, and I'm I'm happy I left the handle bare. So now I'm going to apply the white acrylic paint, and this is difficult because you really want to just do one brush stroke over that glue, and that's really hard to do. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it really is because look at that big glob that ended up up there. And then down there at the bottom, you you do you end up kind of going back over it again because you just want to even that out. And and that's okay. Just try not to go over it and over it and over it and over it. Um one stroke is best. Um after I paint the bottom I will grab my heat gun because I am really impatient so I grab my heat gun to try to speed up this process a bit you gotta be careful with that too because the heat gun gets really really hot you don't want it to get too close to the mug if you know, watch real closely here you can kinda of see the crackle happening on the bottom which I thought was pretty cool but anyway um, Try to keep it a good distance from the mug. Uh, keep it moving because you don't want it to bubble. Uh, you just you want a crackle effect, but you don't want the paint or the glue to start bubbling on you. Even with the heat torch, uh, the heat torch. Even with the heat gun, it just it wasn't happening fast enough for me. But I, I wasn't done yet. I knew that I had another idea in mind. Um, so I'm not too concerned with the lack of crackling that I'm getting here because I still planned on distressing it. As you can see <laughs> here, um, I'm still getting used to making these videos and I keep forgetting that I need to be recording everything that I'm doing. So I had already started to distress the cup when I realized, shoot, I never hit record or set up my phone even to record it. Uh, and I better do that now before I finish. So sorry I had already started, but you're, you'll get to see what I'm doing. I'm just using 91% alcohol on um, one of those disposable rags that I get at Home Depot and just wiping away some of the the white paint and the glue 
that I just applied just to give it kind of a distressed look because <laughs> again I really loved the look of this glitter and I wanted it to show as much as I possibly could get it to show um, but because I had that decal that I wanted to apply I wanted to make sure that you would be able to see it as well so I knew that I needed some kind of a white background and I really like the look of sunflowers on a crackled mug with turquoise in the background and this is the first time I did it this way so um, again it was just something that I had wanted to try and here we are trying it I will be uh, fast forwarding fairly soon. Uh, I wanted you just to get kind of a gist of it. Oh, oh, here's the decal. Look at that. You know what happened? <laughs> As I was carrying my mug upstairs from the kitchen, I put the decal in the mug and forgot that I put the decal in the mug and put my... Uh, Turner arm onto it and smushed it right in there and completely forgot until after it was on you know had been covered in epoxy and was on my turner and there was nothing I could do about it at that point so I just had to pray that I didn't completely destroy the the decal it 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 was a bit destroyed um didn't help applying it to a curved surface I'll tell you that um, and I I did struggle with that as well so I'm curious as you're sitting in your craft room or wherever you tend to work on your tumblers what do you do to keep yourself entertained? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you watch certain TV shows, maybe a movie, um, other YouTubers? Um, I have one person who I really enjoy watching while I am working on these. Um, it is true crime. I feel like there's an awful lot of us Tumblr makers who are into the true crime. Um, but this is one of my absolute favorite people to watch. She is my best friend, even though she doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> um, she makes me laugh. Uh, and I was just so happy that she's back. She's been going through some tough times. So this is my little shout out to her. I was thrilled that she was back. I'm wondering if anyone has figured out who I am talking about yet. And, uh, well, either way, you're about to find out because here's a clip. Took off to Mexico with her new boyfriend. Yeah, she gets boyfriends like boom, boom, boom. She's got like beer flavored nipples or something. She's got something special. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Bailey Sarian of Murder Mystery and Makeup Mondays. My favorite girl. Anyway, now I'm just adding epoxy to my cup to protect the crackle before I apply that decal that I smushed into the mug. Um, and once again, I forgot that I'm trying to make a YouTube video myself and I forgot to record myself adding the decal. So boom, there it is. It's on there. Um, I'm just cleaning it up again and realized right after I had finished applying it that I didn't have my phone going. Um, so now I'm just obsessing over every little wrinkle and bubble and trying to get it uh, as perfect as I can. Very difficult on a curved tapered mug. Um, cleaning up the epoxy from the rim and I will also be sanding the rim uh, just to give it a little tiny sliver of stainless steel at the top. Um, I use I use a 
80 grit sandpaper to do that. That's what I've got here. I just cut a little piece. I get those little round ones with the Velcro on the back. Um, and I just cut them up. And I'm just sanding around that to get it, uh, to get a little bit of stainless steel showing. And then I'm going to wipe it down with 91% alcohol, avoiding the decal because I don't want to accidentally remove any of the ink on that decal. Um, but I will clean up the mug, get off the dust from the sanding, and we will apply more epoxy whenever I decide, okay, there's nothing more you can do for this decal. It, it is what it is, and you're just going to have to live with it. Okay, so here I'm showing you that I am adding uh, one drop of this blue-violet resin dye to my epoxy. And the reason why I do this, you may have noticed uh, in the previous shot of me adding epoxy that it was this color, is because I have the white crackle on there, I'm trying to prevent yellowing um, on the mug. Honestly, I mean, I've heard that this is what works. I have not, I haven't been doing this with, a tum with tumblers long enough to know for certain that it does indeed prevent the yellowing. Well, and I don't even know that it's actually preventing yellowing, but uh, distract, <laughs> how do you put it? I don't want to, it, 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 neutralizes the yellow uh, something about the the purple or blue in your epoxy counteracts the yellowing look I don't know that it's not getting it yellow I think it's I don't know what the hell I'm talking about just <laughs> this is this is why I do it again I don't know if it works probably does I will be following up with people uh, soon enough to find out if their cups are still looking as white as they were when uh, they purchased them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, so I don't know for certain, and I haven't been doing it long enough to know if it's actually working. I guess time will tell. So, um... Yeah, this is this is pretty much it. I'll probably add one more coat of epoxy, and this cup is done. So um, I hope you liked watching this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments who you like to watch while you're working. And uh, I have another video coming up. It will be of my next stripped competition, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.